If you choose not to do the setup wizard for reply mail management, you can just click on settings under setup wizard and choose your email display name, your reply subdomain, your email reply address, and whether or not your domain name server record redirect has been completed. And you can choose to download instructions to make sure that your domain name server record redirect completes. Then you can choose your reply filters. You can choose to delete auto replies and out of office emails by clicking yes, or you can choose not to delete them by clicking no. You can unsubscribe manual requests. So you can click yes to unsubscribe manual requests and no to unsubscribe manual requests. This is meant for when a customer asks to be unsubscribed manually by responding to the emails with unsubscribe. This includes terms such as unsub, unsubscribe, remove, opt out, leave, and other common misspellings of the word unsubscribe or remove or any of these other words. And you can choose those words by clicking here and you have to make sure that this yes is selected. And you can choose a response. You can choose an automated response email for remaining replies. You can choose none here. You can choose a default response by clicking view email. And you can see the from name, from email, email subject, and the response that you'll be sending to the customer. Or you could create a custom response and click define email and you could have your from name, from email, email subject, and a message that you create that you want to send to your customers. When that's done, click save. And for routing, you can forward remaining replies to whichever email address you decide to put in here. And that's how you set up reply mail management under settings. In the next video, we'll cover rules for reply mail management.